When I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't feel good enough. I was extremely awkward and I couldn't phrase my sentences right. Worst of all, I'm pretty sure I was really boring. To this day, I can't stand watching my own videos. That was approximately nine years ago. I went from zero to now 350,000 subscribers on this channel and I know what it feels like to be stuck at just a few subscribers. So if I were to go back to time and only have 100 subscribers, this is what I do to grow my account. I'd watch a ton of Netflix. Now, before you're like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Let me explain. So recently I've been watching a show on Netflix called Outer Banks. If you don't know what Outer Banks is, it's basically a TV show where cool kids go on a giant treasure hunt. It's the grown up version of Dora the Explorer, basically. But on a real note, it's actually filled with great storytelling, a lot of cliffhangers and a whole lot of suspense. So why am I bringing this up in the first place? Well, there's a few things we can learn from Outer Banks that will help you grow a YouTube channel. To be honest, Outer Banks at the core of the script is actually extremely boring, but they were able to pull off a very intriguing story by some of these techniques I'm about to share today. The first lesson we can learn from Outer Banks that can be applicable to YouTube is one, combining ideas together to make new ones. Like I said in the beginning, Outer Banks is literally Dora the Explorer plus modern day television and high school kids. That's literally the entire plot. When growing a channel, it's super easy to fall in the noise of other niches. I feel like the number one advice I've seen on YouTube is like pick a niche. But what people forget to tell you is if you pick a niche, you could be easily forgotten. And the number one way to differentiate yourself but still have a category or brand is by combining two things that don't really belong to each other together. I know it's a little controversial and let me give you a few examples. Personally for me, I make marketing videos, but I like to combine it with a little bit of filmmaking because that's what I'm into. So that's why on my channel, there's a lot of like stories, vlogs, but also like tutorials all in one. And to me, it's educational entertainment and that's personally for my brand so if you have a beauty channel you might want to combine it with like a David Dobrik style editing I don't know how that would work but if you want to pull it off you can it's so important to ask yourself what content do you like and what style would be really cool to mesh it with and by doing this you create a whole new category I mean honestly the best combinations in the world are things that don't really go together but they work like the first time I tried peanut butter on pizza it sounds gross but like try it before you judge it okay because it's literally so good and similar to Outer Banks I got a treasure trust hunt was stupid but they combine it with like these relatable high school characters and honestly it was it was like so if you're making videos online, try to pick your niche, right? Whatever category you make, filmmaking, photography, makeup, whatever. Like that's your pizza, right? Your, your main niche is your pizza, but you want to add your peanut butter on top to make it unique. And that could just be videos that you watch. It could be cool to combine it that you haven't seen, or it could just be a personality trait where you're just going to make something that's more serious, funny. All right, the second lesson we can learn from Outer Banks to make our videos better to grow our YouTube channel is adding sound effects. Now, Outer Banks does this really, really well. This entire TV show, is like 10 episodes long and honestly it could have been one episode because it was way too over dramatized the way they made boring things interesting was adding suspenseful music in the background i'm not joking if they turned off the music i would fall asleep like if you saw in the intro of this video you're watching i added a little bit more of like a cinematic feel to make you feel like you're reeled in if it was the same clip with no music you would click off watch time is basically one way youtube measures success on the platform so if you have a high watch time then they're going to promote that video to more people on their browse features and all their suggested pages. So if you suck at being entertaining, try to add suspenseful or interesting music in the background. One of the things that I like to do is if I'm sounding awkward or I sound stupid, I like to add like an overlaying background music of an awkward, quirky soundtrack. And I personally use Epidemic Sounds. This video is not sponsored by them, but guys just literally lay over a track to your videos that you were already creating. It adds so much detail and I really recommend it for people who haven't tried it. All right, so we're about to go to the last thing that I learned from Outer Banks. And and as you can tell, I literally watched the entire season. I do recommend watching a ton of Netflix. I'm not joking. If you want to grow a YouTube channel, like learn from the experts itself in film. I genuinely learned so much from that, or at least I'm trying to because I want 10 hours of my life back in a productive way. <laughs> All right, so the third and last thing that Outer Banks taught me is to give unnecessary backstory. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but the main character, John B, we don't know anything about him in the very first episode of the show. He's basically this like 16 year old guy and he lives 
alone and we don't know why. But over time, as the plot evolves, we kind of learn that John B doesn't have a dad and his dad actually died. And we soon learn over time how his dad died, which I won't go into, but we learn so much of John B and why he's the way he is. He's extremely temperamental sometimes. He has a lot of trauma and we learn over time through flashbacks what happened. Now, the reason why this is important is because your videos on YouTube should do the exact same thing. You know, in the beginning, a viewer might not know you, but over time you want to add unnecessary backstory because that's what makes you unique. Even when you think it's unnecessary, it's so important to open up and share with your audience. My best example is I used to make YouTube videos about marketing tutorials, but then I started to put my camera in my car and talk while driving and getting Chick-fil-A. I wanted to bring my viewers along the journey and because of that, it was more personable and unique. So suddenly a boring tutorial about marketing was made a little bit more fun and exciting through my Chick-fil-A drive-thru. So I really recommend if you feel like, you know, I'm stuck in quarantine and my content is boring or if you don't have a ton of money to travel and get a ton of like people in your videos, I really think that's BS. You can make a very interesting, compelling video by sharing your story and opening up. YouTube and growing subscribers is all about having a personality that gets people to come back. It's not about your keywords, your SEO, or all the stuff that's the technicality of YouTube. Literally, it's about you as a person and sharing your story is so important. Whether it's talking a little bit about your past history or your quick life story, or even telling your audience that, hey, I struggle with this problem and that's okay. Giving backstory, even when you think it's unnecessary, makes your channel grow. Now, I know it sounds cheesy to say, you know, open up, share your story, Jade, but trust me, I personally didn't think it was necessary to share my backstory. And I also felt it was extremely uncomfortable to be vulnerable. I don't tell everybody that I'm a high school dropout that literally went to $0 in 2019. Now, you know, like I personally have a few companies and I didn't tell people that I was really struggling last year. I, some people could tell through my videos, but I kept going and I kept pushing through. And now 2020, you know, I've really landed big projects that have changed my business and changed the way I think about it. But I'm also not going to sit here and say, I know everything. And I thought to be successful YouTuber, I have to be an expert. I have to know everything. But I realized the key with making videos is people want authenticity. They want to hear your story. And although it's extremely uncomfortable, what I just shared to you, I don't tell everybody. Now the whole internet fucking knows. But I just wanted to let you know that YouTube is about sharing your journey. You don't have to be an expert. You don't even have to know everything if you're teaching. You just need to be honest and vulnerable and ask yourself hard questions, even though you don't feel like it. So with that being said, if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel or it's just feeling like you're stuck and you have a small channel that you want to break through, my first tip is to combine your ideas. Don't make the same content because that's going to get drowned out in the noise of competition. The second thing is experiment with your editing. Increase your watch time by adding sound effects and music and honestly just make shit that's kind of boring, overly dramatic, and you will have a more intriguing video. And the last thing is to give your backstory. My viewers are called the Dharma Nation and you guys obviously have supported me throughout my journey and although I teach so much about marketing, I also struggle every day to grow my brand and to grow other companies that I run. It's extremely difficult and that's a part of entrepreneurship and the process. So I hope this shows you that as I'm giving my backstory, it can encourage you to give your backstory to your video. If you didn't get anything from this video, just watch Outer Banks at this point and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below. John B. Give me just kidding. Don't but not do not comment that. Just comment below your questions. I am looking forward to answering them. I'm starting to upload on this channel a little bit more frequently, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you like my personality, you can. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.